My name is Jeffrey Dan. I'm from Danbury, Connecticut, and I'm 3-1. This fight means the same thing as any other fight. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do what I do. I don't know much about him. I usually leave my research into my coaches. This has been my best fight camp by far. I'm feeling great, and it's going to show tonight. My name is Eric Luna, fighting out of San Jose, California, and I have a record of 7-1. Training camp for this fight was very good. You know, I always try to make improvements every single time. You know, I don't want to try to get, I don't want to ever plateau. I always want to try to improve, and I feel like I did just that on this camp. Uh, what the fans can expect from me tonight is the same thing that they saw last time I was out here. I'm going to go 100%, first bell to last bell. And even though I'm on the same card as a lot of other great fighters, a lot of good matchups, I'm going to try to get fighter tonight. I want everybody cheering for me at the very end. All right, Luna versus then. Luna versus then. Moments away here. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape between these two fighters. We're live from the Broad Street Ballroom here. As you hear the crowd reaction for Jeffrey then. A Northeast product. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape here. Age advantage for Eric Luna, but also an experience advantage for him as well. A little bit of a height advantage. What would you say if looking at these two, the measurements set, set the measurements for these two I mean, guys? It's a pretty equal matchup between the two. Everybody's he's got a two-inch reach advantage. Um, they both got similar styles to what I've seen before, but yeah, I'm expecting to be a an exciting fight. These are the two guys are like made for each other. It's going to be an action-packed main event. Eric Luna has had back-to-back -back knockout wins in his two appearances so far on Friday Night Fights. Jeffrey then comes off an absolute war with Brian McCamara. He was in trouble multiple times, bleeding profusely at one point, but he ended up getting the unanimous decision win back on February the 1st, and now he has a chance to be a champion with the ISKA 135-pound belt on the line. And right now, it's Eric Luna entering the ring. The California kid, originally from Hayward, California, in the Bay Area, now fights out of the American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. There's Jeffrey then, getting ready, and here's Eric Luna sealing off the ring. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good one. Two guys who are not afraid of action. Eric Luna, the two times we've seen him here on Friday Night Fights, knockout wins against Ahmad Ibrahim and Travis Clay, two seasoned outstanding fighters. And Jeffrey then, a boxer, competes in kickboxing and MMA, a little bit of everything from then, so a lot of action coming our way in mere moments. For the introductions for our main event of the evening, let's send it up to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Friday Night Fights is brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. This is our main event. Get ready for five rounds of action to decide the ISKA New York Muay Thai title in the 135 pound weight category. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the red, white, and green trunks and weighing in at 135 pounds. He trains with Team AKA with a record of eight and one, five of those by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from San Jose, California, Eric Luna. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the blue trim and weighing in at 134 pounds. He represents Champs Boxing Club and Teixeira MMA with a record of four and one from Danbury, Connecticut, Jeffrey Then. All right, guys, five rounds, full rolls, more time, okay? Punches, kicks, head, punches and, punches and kicks to the head, knees to the head, elbows to the head, whatever, okay? All right, touch them up, guys. Back to the corner.
So here we go, five rounds of full rules Muay Thai about to commence between that man, Eric Luna, and that man, Jeffrey then, with a vacant ISKA Pro Muay Thai 135 pound belt on the line. Our third man in the ring for this bout will be the great Justin Greskowitz, former pro fighter turned official here. His first night refereeing for us on Friday Night Fights, and we're glad to have a man of his pedigree looking over this outstanding bout. And we're, here we go, we're here underway. Here we go. Our main event in, a, in action right now. Eric Luna in the red, white, and green trunks. Jeffrey then in the black with blue trim. Two compact fighters. Let those hands go. There they go. Good combination followed by a low kick. Looks like they both got the same idea. Left hook and right leg kick try. Good, good use of range by Luna. It kind of goes in and steps out. Very crafty fighter. Oh, uh, eats a right hand already. Look at that. Seems like Ven's got to plant his feet to throw the combination. Doesn't really move his feet when he lets his hands go. And Luna's really good at going in and out. And immediately some redness on the side of yeah, I think Jeffrey that, that he's already found a home for that right hand Luna did. You know, you don't want to count Fenn out because he is he's still dangerous. This is one one byproduct of Jeffrey then's many wars in the ring. You, you start to see the damage early on when he takes a couple punches. Definitely does. Oh, big turn by Jeffrey then. Good head movement, good low kick by then. You can almost see that Luna's trying to line him up for that right hand, and there it was. Coming in with that double jab, good left kick, set up that right hand again, and there it was. Oh. He's just so crisp and clean with it. Oh my Snuck goodness. a couple right elbows up the middle, too. That was a vicious combination. Big Definitely right was. hand, it's, and then yeah, it's, and it's so pop, compact, it doesn't go wide. It just pops comes, the elbows in right yeah, away. Yeah, comes yes. right off from the shoulder. Goodness gracious. But then muscles down Luna for a brief moment. Look at that, Luna's eager to get right back in the action. Steps back, makes a miss the hook, eats an uppercut up the middle. Uppercut by then. And a nice dump there. Men's very strong in the clinch. Jeffrey then from the Bronx. Letting those hands fly. Has a lot of support in the crowd tonight at the Broad Street Ballroom. Eric Luna, the West Coast guy from Cali. So he's on enemy ground here, but he's been quite comfortable in New York from what we've seen thus far with two knockout wins and two tries on Friday Night Fights and looking to make it three. Good cut in the ring off there. Luna does a very good job of that stepping side to side. Luna never stays put for very uh, very long. No, he doesn't. Always he throws on the, the strikes and he gets off to the left or the right or, or he's moving to set something up. Back. Very important to have good quality footwork in this game. Len now then tries his hand going to the body. And it's difficult to time a guy like Ben because you don't know when it's coming, but when it comes, it's coming hard. A little bit of a stare down here as Ooh. Luna sticks the elbow in and then responds in kind. Oh, boy. Good first round. Great action. Jeffrey then is fired up. This crowd is fired up. I'm fired up. I'm going to be able to go to sleep after this. Good action here from the first round. Both exchanging punch combinations. Luna misses with that right hand. Here then gets him in the clinch and goes to the beautiful sweep. Lands on top of him, gives him a little extra push. He just doesn't quite bring his feet together when he, bring his feet with him when he throws the punch combination. You're watching Friday Night Fights. This is our main event of the evening, live from the Broad Street Ballroom. Eric Luna and Jeffrey then vying for the vacant 135-pound ISKA Pro Muay Thai title. And we just saw you can an see in the corner of uh, Eric Luna is uh, old training partner of mine, Derek Ewan from the Rufus Sport Gym out there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Give a shout out to everybody watching out there from Milwaukee and Rufus Sport, my man Jared Gordon, and all the guys out there in California at AKA. While we have a moment, we'll also say hello to Eric's family. His wife, Ashley, and his daughter, Elle. Oh, 
Oh, eats another right hand. Beautifully timed right hand by Luna. Sneaks the elbow up the middle. I think there's a little blood coming out of the nose of, man, it just it keeps slipping on this mat. Stick some soda in the corner, get them feet sticky. This has been an unfriendly canvas thus far. Definitely now it's has. Then. Oh, he then throws some bombs, doesn't he? You can see him just plant his feet. Good body shots. I think that hurt him to the body. Good call by the referee with the standing eight count. Big moment for Eric Luna. Ripped that left hook to the body. Kind of froze then in place. Justin Greskowitz saw then was in some trouble, and he stopped the action. So I like to see Eric Luna go back to that body with that left hand. And now Luna's looking for elbows over the top. Big cut above the left eye of Thin. And we saw this in the Camara fight. Same situation. Elbows now to the other side of Thin's face from Eric Luna. I think he's just kind of prone to getting cut, isn't he? So many wars for Jeffrey Thin. I like and how Thin plants happens. his legs and throws those bombs, but I think with the slippery canvas, he's not, not able to generate a lot of power. Good elbow war back and forth. Yes. Muay Thai at its finest here as then now is on the attack. Definitely bringing it on. Gonna put up the shield here. <laughs> Sweat and blood flying everywhere. Big swing and a miss. I'd like to see Luna go back to the body with that left hook. Remember at the pro level, three minute rounds. Long, long time. Now rip that left hook to the body. Ooh, both of them throwing big right hands, barely missed. Nice elbow up the middle by Luna. Just kind of sneaks it right in there, doesn't he? It's amazing when you see the, the, the separation from the professional level, Jason, when these guys cap up combinations yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just with short elbows. Yeah, just tiny little details like that. Then reaching a bit with the body punch. Good Luna. footwork, nice left kick by, by Luna. Ooh, eats a right hand in the chin but battles back. Both guys doing a lot of good work in the ring right now. But Luna scored the, scan the standing eight in the second round. Good punch combination followed by a kick there by Thin. 20 seconds left in this round. Wish I could put a pause button on that. <laughs> for both of these guys' sakes, for all of our sakes. We want to see every bit of this match we can as both men trade shots against the ropes. Then with a bloody eye and all, continues to come forward. We're through two rounds of a scheduled five. Wow. I mean, you got to be in good shape to go like this. There was that right, it was actually the right to the body, I think, that hurt him. Kind of shoveled it up in there. Let's right there, one boom, more yes. boom. Hit and him with the right and the left. And the left as well, yes. I think it'd be wise if you went back to that. You know, and then he followed up with some knees to the body. But yeah, just if you, if you hurt him at one spot, just keep attacking it. Our ringside physician, one of them. Checking out the situation with Jeffrey Then's left eye, Dr. Mert Aragol. I think they're doing a good job stopping the cut over there. There's Derek Yoon coaching on Eric Luna. And on the other side, a deep, a deep corner as expected for Jeffrey Then. Benny Little is boxing coach and also fighting with Muhammad Lemjardine in his corner tonight. Jeffrey then representing multiple schools, Champs Boxing Club, Golden Falcon Gym. Yeah, then kind of leans forward when he throws the punches too, which leaves him open for those elbows. Kind of kind of plants his feet, like I said, and kind of leans into those punches. If they land, they're going to be very effective, but you can also get countered and timed, and it's like a head-on collision. Then now with an opening here in the third round. See right there, he, he planted his feet and it, it caused some damage. He found the right range. Great job by Ben's corner, fixing up that left eye. We'll see if Luna targets it here in round three. Again, championship is on the line. At 135 pounds, professional Muay Thai. Luna and then in a firefight, as expected. Go to right hand, leans his head just to the outside, timed it, beautiful. Yeah, Fenn is strong in the clinch, isn't he? 
Just got that thick muscular back, it just gets a hold of you. And then really you could see, oh, Whoa. big exchange there. Oh, Looked like Lewis got snuck the elbow up over the top of the left arm of Then. And I thought, I thought then got a right hand in as well during that Yeah, exchange. I think he did. Inside leg kick. Oh, and then's in trouble now. Interesting. Eric just Luna sees it. Just kind of stunned him with that. Like froze the leg. Oh, and again. Long way to go in this third round. Still over a minute left. Sometimes it just catches you funny and the leg goes to sleep. <laughs> Eric Luna saw it, but then was able to recover. He saw the opening. A monster battle here between two pros with a championship belt hanging in the balance. Then trying to feed Luna a taste of his own medicine. Oh, body kick right to the liver with that heavy left kick. Oh, right back with the knee. Referee jumps in for another standing eight count. Wow, that was a solid left kick. I told you the body's where it's at. He's got to keep going downstairs. He had success with that with the punches in the earlier rounds. Now he just landed that solid left kick. I think that Luna's going to go back to it. Almost like he's going to turn southpaw and crank him with that left kick. There he goes. Can then survive a brutal third round. Just freezes him with that body kick. Ooh, Upper nice uppercut cut up the middle. And oh, a turn nice. and dump by Jeffrey then, who just won't quit under any circumstances. There is no quitting that kid. He just plants his feet and he's dangerous when he throws when he does that. It's almost like a Mike Tyson style, kind of sits down and lets those hands rip. Jeffrey then amazing fortitude. The punishment he's taken so far in this fight, and he keeps landing flush shots. Well, another big round for Eric Luna, though. Another standing eight count. Back-to-back -back rounds with standing eight counts for Luna. So if this fight goes the distance, that will loom large. Yeah, Dan, Ben is still dangerous. He is. Look at that. Throws that right hand and just, they both threw it at the same it time. It just, yeah, Luna You're didn't right, get his head out of the way. It was Luna. Inside leg kick, yeah, just kind of froze it a little bit, caught him above that knee. Let's see if we see that left body kick. There we go, just sneaks it right under the elbow. And freezes up, then. He goes but, in for the kill. But a veteran, oh. but a veteran keeping those hands up. He absorbed the blow. Yep. Starts backing up, puts the hands up. Yep. Now he did end up with a standing eight, but could have been worse. Still in the fight. And landed good shots Oh, after he's definitely that. still in the fight, that's for sure. This guy's a warrior. Look at him, walks right in the front door, so let's get busy. Round four as the marathon continues. He only knows one way to fight. He's just banging. Eric Luna in the red, white, and green against Jeffrey then in the black with blue trim and a fight worthy of main event status with a 135 pound championship belt up for grabs. Good hook by then. This is Friday Night Fights live from New York City. Eric Luna and Jeffrey then vying for a title and then on a little bit of wobbly again. there. Is that, did he catch a punch or his legs are shot? I think his legs are done. Oh, chopping both legs inside of the right and the left. Luna taking the axe to Jeffrey Then's lower half. Then brings it back though, he's still dangerous. Look at that, that heavy left hook. Luna's beating him to the body, into the legs. Good straight right hand to the body. Sneaks the elbow up the inside and he's staying right on him, just hunting him. Oh, kicks right into that block. Oh, then throws a knee up the middle. Luna almost eats it. Nice short little elbow on the inside. Almost looks like his knee is maybe hurt. Ben, you're and like, like it keeps locking up on it. And Ben's right leg, see that? See, he's keeping it real stiff. And that was, and, and Luna has attacked the inside of that leg throughout this fight. Now then taking some more time to get up. And we're gonna get a standing eight here, again. Third straight round with a standing eight for Jeffrey then, but he wants to continue. And Justin Greskowitz, who's been in this position, will allow him to do so. Oh. Luna knows what he needs to do to stop Then He continues to attack the lower half. Then is just still coming forward. Incredible. Throwing those big shots. Incredible. 
With Jeff. Looks like he doesn't have much stability on his leg. Oh, another low kick, and the fight is over. That's gonna do it. Beautiful low kick knockout by Eric Luna. Three fights, three stoppages. Eric okay. Luna. Amazing. Is your new ISKA Pro Muay Thai 135 pound champion. What a main event. Man, those guys are fun to watch. Eric Luna continues to dazzle in the squared circle on Friday night fights. And with one of the toughest guys in the Northeast in front of him, Luna just continued to chop and chop and chop until there was nothing left of Jeffrey Venn's legs. What a great performance by Eric Luna. Oh, man. Justin Greskowitz. And there's a guy who knows what he's looking at in the ring oh, as the official, sure. he's Justin definitely been, He's been in some amazing fights. Understands the situation and sees that though Jeffrey then wanted to continue, yeah, he his body- his Yeah, he would have kept getting up and kept fighting all night long. His body could not keep up with his heart. And Eric Luna now a champion on Friday Night Fights with an ISKA strap coming his way. Our ISKA representative, Tom Sconzo, in the ring, ready to present the hardware. Here's Connor Hall. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and four seconds into the fourth round, we do have a winner of the ISKA New York Muay Thai title in the 135-pound weight division, and that man is... Eric Luna. Well, Jason Strout, as good as it gets. Three times we've seen Eric Luna on Friday Night Fights, and he has stopped the fights all three times. He's now a champion. He's now 9-1 and one as a professional fighter. He's done it all so far before our eyes. He keeps getting better and oh, better. Oh, yeah, he just keeps improving in every fight I've seen him. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. And he told me yesterday at the weigh-in he really wants to build the fan base on the East Coast. Being from California, he's not a known entity here like Jeffrey Den is and other fighters that we've seen. Well, this is how you do that. You build a fan base by knocking people by out. By getting people out of there. People like to see knockouts. And Eric Luna just continues to impress with the AKA team led by Derek Yoon in there and Joe Sampieri as well. Congratulations to our new champion at 135 pounds, ISKA titleist Eric Luna, knocking out Jeffrey then in the fourth round. So everybody, that about does it for this edition of Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. We fight the good, we thank you, all the good folks at the Broad Street Ballroom for helping us put this exciting event on. All our fans in attendance, and of course, all of you watching us from around the world. The president of Friday Night Fights is Justin Blair. The operations director is Eddie Marini. The director of events is Lauren Gilbert. Our Friday Night Fights team consists of the Soberanis brothers, Javier and Freddie. Eddie Artica as well. Our replay operators, Dexter David and Eldon Phillips. Our camera operators, Victoria Harrington, Lee Hosang, and Kevin Talbot. And our jib camera operators, Mike Melia and Christoph Johnson for my broadcast partner. Pardon me, for my broadcast partner. Get the growl in there. For my broadcast partner, Jason Strout. My name is Ariel Legami. Thanks for, so much for joining us, folks. We'll see you next time on Friday Night Fights.